The best, the best character on this train. His head's like bobbing over the edge. You know, you see pictures of people in the subway, or just public transport in general, falling asleep on other people's shoulders. Imagine you're riding the bus or something, and all of a sudden this big gloopy thing just slops down onto your shoulder. You just turn around and it's just in your ear. It's just, oh, Christ. It's a strange thought. The deep sea metro is strange. That's what I'm gathering from this. Can I like, sit down next to him? Hey, make, you're taking up two seats. Make room. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay. Dance, dance. Okay. <laughs> what have I discovered? Well, if this doesn't wake him up, I don't know what will. Can I just jump out? I can just jump out. Hi everybody, and welcome back to Splatoon 2's Octo Expansion, Some Bosses with Bombs Only. That is the most convoluted title I could come up with, uh, but it's, it's pretty accurate, because we're not doing all the bosses. I added a weird accent in there. But yeah, we're not doing all the bosses, we're just doing the Octo Oven and the Octo Stomp. And we did the Octo Stomp in the last episode, which just leaves one thing, and it is somewhere around here. Is it this one? No, that's... I was on... Uh, okay, I started the episode on the correct tile, and I moved away from it. But yes, this is the Octo Oven up here. Toastmaster Station all the way all the way to the left of the underground map, the Deep Sea Metro. And uh, yeah, this will probably be... Mm, I don't know. I'm in two minds still about doing any of the other bosses. And there's three bomb types for the Octo Oven. I'm not going to use Burst Bombs because I feel they're a bit cheap and easy to use, although the reward is higher. Although I think it would be easier for me to... Use burst bombs. No, no, no. I will stand my ground. I will stick with curling bombs as we do with the Octo Stomp. And I've done this boss before with curling bombs only. It's just quite difficult. Probably more so than the Octo Stomp. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Is that I do find this guy to be much more challenging. Having said that, I did uh, flounder a bit uh, with the Octo Stomp in the, f in the third phase at least. The third. Third. Th Third phase, at least. God, my tongue is like... I cannot control it in my mouth today. Ah! Octo oven extra extra large. Oh, it's not called deluxe. I think that was just the Octo Stomp. So, yep, same as the regular Octo oven. Just need to slide out the way of its faces. However, you should be noticing a few things just dropping down on top of us. And no, that is not the blot. That is not the new uh, bathtub weapon that I have... Uh, been struggling with recently. But uh, yeah, there are now enemies on top of the Octo Oven. And also it is going to take a few more cunning mobs to climb up. I'm just going to restore Smink. Never mind. He's not going to give me enough time to stand on him and uh, restore my ink just by hanging off him. So I think the key to this boss is paying attention to which side you've already inked. So it's that side, so I need to stay over here. We've got these uh, Octo Troopers up top. You are proving to be a bit of a pain. Let me throw that down there. Uh, I could also throw a big curling bomb here, like that. Get a bigger. That did nothing. I was expecting like a bigger explosion. I guess it kind of did, but and I fell off. He's going to retract his heads now, right? I okay. I just need one more. Okay, if I can just do that. Okay, that's all I need. So now I should be able to climb up easier. If I can deal with one of these guys now. Oh, my arm is broken. I need to restore very quickly. Restore very quickly. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. Oh, <laughs> he opened the oven on me. Okay, so that's one life down. I I got too close to him. My arm broke when I got up top. and Yeah, I, I, I'm making some silly little mistakes immediately in this boss fight. Okay, avoid all the bouncy balls. God, there's one Octo expansion challenge that is really annoying to me. It's the one where you have to avoid taking any damage at all. And I don't really know why I struggle with that. Also, these guys are like super accurate on that, I think. And that has gone too far away. Let me just restore something on him. There, like that. He's going to do a quick little shimmy to shake me off. He wants to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy through the break of dawn. Yeah. And, yeah, mo most of the enemies in that in that specific challenge 
are the bouncy ball enemies, these like bouncy ink enemies. So yeah, it's really, really annoying to me. That's probably my most annoying challenge. I think most people said they struggled with the girl power station, I think that's what it's called, Spice Girls reference. But uh, oh god, I need to get away! And I reckon he can still hit me. One of these enemies can still hit me, if I just linger on the edge too long. Okay, yeah, as soon as I come up top, my arm is just gone. Okay, I need... I'm getting shook off again. I'm shook. Okay, there we go. Arm is restored. Just need to delay the inevitable. Okay, which side? I need to make sure I stay to this side of him, I think. Because as soon as he does his second attack, he rotates to a different face, like that. So I need to pay attention to which side I've already inked, and I can just use the same one again. Third fa uh, the first phase not too difficult, except for the fact that I'm taking too much damage. Also, I'm on the wrong side. Why did I fall off this side? Okay, I'm going to hide down here for a bit. Okay, there we go. Armor restored. J just be patient. Better to be safe than sorry for doing this bombs only. It's just a needless, needlessly challenging experience, to be honest. Okay, and move out the way. And as soon as, when his head pops out, he sort of um, instantly destroys any other bombs. Okay, I'm going to take the opportunity to destroy another one of you. And uh, some of them do drop specials. I'm not going to use the specials, although that income is looking mighty tasty right now. And I think that's it for the first place. Oh, and uh, never mind, I spoke way too soon. That tentacle retracted super fast. That's really annoying. Hello? <laughs> God, take your time. I poke my head out and he's still confused me. And dodge this way again. So yeah, the first phase, although I have died once, it's not overly difficult if you're just patience. I had no patience whatsoever back there. And let's just... might as well take out the other guy as well. Oh, no, never mind. Can I take him out? There we go. All dead, and the tentacles gone as well. And I took damage, just just as I was leaving, leaving the top of it there. Okay, so... This boss changes up quite considerably, because now we have these little chimneys on top. I think that happened in the original game as well, but also we have sprinklers! Hooray! Constant coverage, and there's also enemies floating above it, although I don't think they're too difficult. So we also have the geysers around the arena as well, so we're just going to get showered. What you can do is make him destroy them, if they are in your way, in any shape or form. And he pokes his head out like that. Uh, you can get him to destroy some of the geysers. Okay, I think priority number one here is getting rid of the sprinklers. Because they're not doing too much damage, but it's chip damage, and if your arm is broken uh, from a prior attack, and the sprinkler is there... Can he see me through the geysers? I'm sure he can. Can he? Oh yeah, the geysers do retract when he gets close to them. So that doesn't destroy them in that case. I'm on completely the wrong side, aren't I? I can't remember which side I've already inked, but I'm just going to throw down a big one like that. That's a lot of ink. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Now, getting up is really complicated here. That's a good explosion. Now destroy the sprinkler. Do it! That's going to fall off the edge too too slow. Okay. I just want to destroy the sprinkler. Now! Do it! Yes! Okay, one sprinkler down. That's good. That's going to stop some of his ink coverage. He's already covered the entire arena, I think. Okay, which side? Oh, that just dropped down right in front of me! Ow, 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 I'm about to die, probably, to a sprinkler? I just need to get away from him, really. Okay, there we go. I could see, like, the little droplets falling down around me. Okay, which side have I already done? Is it this one? No, it's that one over there. I'm completely the wrong side. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not paying attention to which side I've already inked. Although, having said that, I would recommend doing multiple sides, just to clear out some of the sprinklers. If, if, if that... Oh, the sprinkler broke my armour. I'm going to die... Uh, maybe not. Am I good? I'm good. I'm going to completely ignore my own advice and try and climb up there again. Okay. What's he doing? Oh, he's just backing off. Okay. Sometimes he just retreats to the middle of the arena for no good reason. Oh! oh. Okay. I... I wasn't really expecting him to do that again. I'm going to climb up the other side. I'm going to be smart about it. I'm going to... That... Why did that not ink? I hate bombs sometimes. Jesus. Bombs and ledges don't really go together that well occasionally. Okay, destroy this geyser for me, please. Do it. Do it. Kill it. Or you can just not. Okay, whatever. 
Okay. Ow, bloody, bloody sprinklers, get away! Nothing more degrading than being killed by a sprinkler. In multiplayer, anyway. Okay, which side was I doing? I was trying to do this side, but I didn't manage to get any ink on the... More. Okay, there we go. Jesus, the sprinkler! Okay, I need to just move away. Head over this side, because there's no sprinkler over there. Yeah, okay. Smart, that's the sprinkler I already destroyed on that side. Also, this arena's really weird. It looks like it's got edges that you can... that curling bombs should bounce off. And they do sometimes. Like, if you throw it like that, it goes around the edge, but then it just slides off anyway. So yeah, the curling bombs act a little bit strange. Also, I'm on the wrong side again. Okay, you know what, that's fine. I'm gonna try to turn up here, and let's see if I can deal with some of these... these hat guys, whatever they're called. They've got, like, the jet hats on that give them jewelry properties. Okay, I'll get a stingray for that. I'm not going to use it. Although, having said that, the stingray is probably very useful in this in this fight. Because you don't even have to climb up, you can just wait for him to finish his third attack and then aim the stingray up at the top. Or fourth attack if you're in the third phase. I forgot about that. Okay, come, come hither. Okay. There we go. That's the right side. I'm just dangling over the edge here. Okay, let's destroy this one sprinkler, just so it doesn't cause me any problems in the future. I took way too much damage from that. Oh, there's one more enemy. Okay. I was about to say, um, even though we've destroyed two sprinklers now, uh, now that most of the enemies have gone up top, I don't need to worry too much about it. Because it's the enemies that break your armor most often. Hang on, have I not hit this side before? Jesus, speak... Octo oven. Speaking of ovens, it's boiling hot in here. Hang on one second. Ah, oh, okay, I'm back. I have to crank open the door a bit. Just gotta let a, a through breeze come through. Hang on, that doesn't make sense. What, what was I saying? I'm trying to let a breeze pass through the house. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I'm, I'm going delirious from the heat. It's probably the hottest summer I've ever experienced. But yeah, speaking of ovens, we're we're in a furnace right now. I can't move, I'm out of ink, and he's covered up any chance I have of standing around. Okay. And climb on up, and should be able to deal the last few hits now. Yeah, there's still one in me. Oh, they might have gone. And one more hit, but I think he's going to retract it before it's too late. Oh no, I got him. I'm pleasantly surprised, considering the Octa Stomp didn't really give you too much opportunity to hit his tentacle. Okay, phase three is super annoying, because now we have snipers up top and splash holes, which is not good for curling bombs. Also, he's got this uh, attack still. I'm just going to run into it to make that phase end quicker. Break my armor and restore it very quickly. Uh, oh, hang on. Wait, Sid, what are you doing? Apologies if there was any like, weird noise in the background there. I didn't realise my dog was like snuffling in his bed. It's like right next to me. So if that picked up on the microphone, apologies. Okay, oh, gotta avoid every sniper. Oh, I thought that was his fourth attack, and it was his third. Okay, I'm gonna dodge the sniper and get a quite a bit of ink there, good. Okay, now getting over here is the main problem. Come on, explode. Okay, that was actually easier than I thought. Sprinklers are still here, so I think my control is starting to act up, because I was holding left there and I still slipped off. I'm going to give him some slight opportunity. Come on, hit me. Hit me! <laughs> also, occasionally, during this phase... Uh oh, I'm about to die, I think. No, I need to move faster. Watch out for the sniper. Okay, there we go. Which, phase, which uh, side have I already done? I think it's this one, yeah. Yep. No, it wasn't this one. What's going on? Like, sometimes the sides are inked, sometimes they're not. Also, that, that was a horrible throw. Uh, okay. It looks like I'm not climbing up there this time. To be honest, I think this boss goes by a little bit faster than the Octa Stomp. But I do find it more difficult. It's less tedious, more actual, like, skill-based, kind of. You need to, like, be very, very aware of your surroundings at all times. But it does go by quite quickly, because his attacks shoot out uh, at very quick intervals. This episode's probably going to fly by, to be honest. Okay, uh, climb up this side. This is the sprinkler I've already destroyed, right? Yeah. 
Oh, that was a bad throw. Actually, since that's the sprinkler already destroyed, I've destroyed two sprinklers. Okay, so the main problem lies with the splash holes up top. I'm, I've lost my train of thought, to be honest. But yeah, I was talking about the splash holes before. And yeah, they're probably the main problem when we're using curling bombs. Because we... Oh, shoot. Got hit by the sniper. That's not good. And now they can see me because my arm is broken. And I'm like, got this, this electrical effect around me. Okay. Luckily, I avoided that all. Okay, let me climb up this side this time, if possible. Is that going to cover it? Nope. <laughs> nope, why would it? Oh. I got... So that's happened twice now. Got, like, wedged on the edge of the bread. Wedged on the edge of the bread. Let me uh, skip this phase again. I've left myself extremely vulnerable. I don't want to head that way because there's this bloody sprinkler over there. With my armour broken, that'll probably just catch me off guard. Okay. Jump over here. Avoid that. Get out of the way. If you stick kind of close to him, the snipers don't really spot you, although that gives you less time to react, so I don't know if it's the best idea. I'm on another wrong side. I haven't inked any of these sides, damn it. I need to pay more attention. I think this side, though, that's good. Okay, up. Okay, now the main problem comes with destroying this. How do I do it? It's a case of timing, but these splash balls have got so much health. Also, that was, yeah, bad timing. <coughs> You have to, like, jump away and... The, like, when you're climbing up the wall, the splash wall will propel you away from it. Uh, so, you need to throw the curling bomb ahead of time. What is he doing? I'm I'm nowhere near you. Why why are you doing this? Okay, now he's approaching. What the hell was that? I've never seen him do that before, just attack in the middle of the arena. Ow. Goddamn sprinkler damage. That didn't ink the wall at all. Get up! Please, Jesus. Okay. Let's destroy all of these like that. Avoid the sniper. The opt sniper. Okay, I'm good. Let's restore some health. Hit me, boy. Hit me with your big jet wall thing, whatever it's called. And restoring. Distract the snipers with the curling bomb. Hmm. It's not too difficult at the moment. I struggled immensely with this the first time. But uh, yeah, this seems to be going quite well. I'm hopefully not speaking too soon. Enough. Okay, I think this one. Let's climb up here. I bashed my head on something. What was that? I don't know. Okay, this is not the wall I climbed before, I take it. So yeah, when you get propelled away from the wall, your curling bomb doesn't go as far, and someone just flat out misses. I think maybe you need to like aim slightly downwards. Maybe not, because that didn't work at all. Okay, that worked. And yeah, it takes like three hits to destroy one wall. So yeah, the splash walls are definitely... One of the main problems here. However, once you're up top, that was not expecting that to come out so fast there. Sniper, leave me alone. Sniper, no sniping. Get me out of here. Get get me out of here. <laughs> uh, I think this side, so I'm going to climb up here. Have I destroyed the splash wall yet? No. Okay, there we go. Three hits on that wall and it's gone. So now I'm up top, I can actually deal with these snipers pretty if. Uh, <sighs> Spoke too soon. I'm not up top yet. I can't get up. Okay, I'm doing a retreat. Okay, one sniper's down. I need to get safety. Okay, there we go. One sniper's down and one wall down. Hit me boy. There we go. Don't stand too close to it, because I'm worried that it'll still start rotating. But yeah, you can use that to skip the first phase. What's he doing? Oh, he's making more of those things. Okay. I'm always curious about that. Like somebody who just stands there and does nothing, but... Okay, I'm just gonna stand there and take it, apparently. Which side of eight? Probably not this side. I need to move over here. I think this side right? Yes. Is this the side I climbed up before? Yes, okay. Luckily I've got two sides in a row. So what you can do, now that we're up here, we can destroy the splash walls. Just make things a little bit more efficient. Also, it's doing damage to the tentacle when you throw them against it. Sort of detonating the curling bombs ahead of time. Oh, just one more curling bomb! Ugh. Well, I think we've pretty much got this phase in the bag now. Because we've destroyed all the snipers and most of the sprinklers by the looks of things. There's just one splash wall remaining. I need to pay attention. The runs off right next to me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay, this way. Oh, bloody dog. Would you get down from there? 
There's going to be a bunch of weird noises on the microphone this episode because my dog is... I think he's struggling with the heat a bit. So yeah, sorry about all the pauses, but... Get up. Yeah, I just need to give my dog a little bit of, a little bit of attention. If you can hear him, like, panting, panting in the distance. It's quite... Is that, hopefully that's not audible on the microphone. But yeah, there we go. Off to up and down. That actually wasn't too difficult. I kind of wish I did that in the last episode. Uh, I guess I just struggled with it the first time because I was unaware of how to deal with it. Dog, would you stop making noises? I, I can see you. He's like stuck to the back of the sofa. Well, since I didn't struggle too much with that, maybe I can show how the boss is with burst bombs. Let's show uh, how much easier it would be. So get me some more of those CQ points. Dog, would you please... Settle down. Stop jumping around. I'm trying to record it. Jesus. <sighs> I haven't missed this. I know I took like a big six months or seven month long hiatus and making videos, but same old dog interrupting the recording. Things never change, apparently. <sighs> Alright, well, let me show off. Well, maybe I should try the splat bombs. Maybe that'd be more difficult. Because I lose some manoeuvrability that the curling bombs have. However, I can toss them upwards, so maybe it's not. Let's let's give it a try. I want to I want to see how difficult it is with splat bombs. Experiment begin. So okay, I'm going to skip the opening cutscene because I don't need to see it twice. Okay, throw one down. Need to start manoeuvring around. So yeah, I can see this being maybe a little bit more difficult because we lose some of our maneuverability that the curling bombs give us. I can throw a curling bomb down and then follow it to move out the way faster. But with splat bombs, we don't get that. We just get a big explosion radius. It might help for climbing, but not for like moving around. Also, that happens. I completely didn't expect that to happen. I've got a bit of ink on him, so it should be a little bit easier to climb. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I did, I did the knuckles thing. Those are going to hit me, aren't they? Actually, no, they move a little bit too slowly. If that was the blob lobber, it would probably kill me. I have so many complaints about the blob lobber. No weapon should be allowed to bounce off walls. But uh, that's, uh, that's a topic for another time. Can I climb? I want to... I'm just trying to... I'm trying to climb onto the side of the other... the other loaf. Whatever. Oh, what am I doing? I can just... I don't need to climb up. Oh, oh, this is so much easier. Now, I... What was I doing? I was so stupid. I don't need to climb up, do I? Because I can... throw the splat bombs upwards. Like this. <laughs> and still take a lot of damage. Oh, is that going to propel me away? Storm around, please. Thank you. So yeah, this is going to be super easy. Maybe not super easy, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to speak too soon here. I'm not going to underestimate this boss. It could probably end, end me in a heartbeat. Don't need to climb up. What am I doing? Let's destroy that guy. Like that. So now I don't have to deal with... Well, I guess maybe because I'm not climbing all the way up. Uh, he uses... He retracts his tentacle a bit quicker. So he's maybe, maybe like reacts a little bit faster. Maybe I don't even need to climb up on the bread at all. I can just can I get a bomb up on top from here? I can. This boss just got significantly more easy. Oh no! I need to climb up on him because otherwise I'll only, I'll only be able to get one bomb at a time. Yeah. When you're climbing up him, he gives you more opportunity to move and climb up. He doesn't retract his tentacles fast. That's what I'm trying to say. That. Excuse me? <laughs> How did that hit me? I guess I jumped into it, but... Yeah, whatever. There we go. Don't even need to be on top. Why did that launch me over there and... Did you see a balloon up there? Did... I saw a balloon, like, floating above him. Has that always been there? Well, I mean, I can't hit it with any bombs, but... I did not know that bomb was there. Uh, bomb? Didn't know that balloon was there. Is it still there? I can't see it. Where was it? 
I swear. There's a balloon up there, right? Where are you? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, kind of want to destroy some of the sprinklers as well. Am I not going to get the opportunity? Ow! Ow! <laughs> I did the pathetic thing. Ow! Don't hit me! Ow! I just didn't expect the geyser to rise up underneath me. Okay, move out the way. I've not got any ink on the ground. And this sprinkler is going to be very annoying. Okay, I'm going to destroy some of the sprinklers though. Possible. Like that, yeah. Okay. Oh, God, bomb. <laughs> That's about my reaction time in multiplayer matches, by the way. I never react to bombs in time. That's my one weakness, I think. Well, no, I have several weaknesses, but... Yeah, bombs. Throw them next to me and I probably won't even notice they're there until it's too late. Note to self. Do not reveal weaknesses. Oh, hang on. Wasn't there, like, a, a vent in the way there before? Oh, what? No! Okay, armor's broken, and... Oh, shh, I'm dead. Those bloody splat bombs. In Octo Expansion, with the armor, anyway. So much range. And, uh, yeah, that's relevant for the, like, secret boss of the game. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can just destroy some of the enemies up top, ahead of time. No such luck. Come on. Hit me. Or try and hit me. Destroy this guy's, uh... Okay, hit! I, uh, I should have thrown one downwards first. Never mind. Please, hurry up. Get over here. Pop. Destroy that geyser. Destroy this geyser. Let's actually destroy the sprinklers. Or one of them, anyway. God, yeah, if you don't climb up on him, he just retracts his heads almost immediately. I only get one bomb off. Hello? I like how they're still giving me advice, even though I've fought this boss so many times before. Thank you, Nintendo, for holding my hand in this trying time. I'm here! Actually, when he is looking around like that, that does give me some ample opportunity to restore rank and... Maybe throw another bomb now. I nearly did the same thing again and jumped into the bloody uh, top head thing. Oh, that's the vent I was talking about. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to fall off there. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I can like bait him with bombs as well, I think. Oh, well, that sprinkler's gonna hurt. It's gonna remove my ink, anyway. Mm. Oh, bloody splat bombs and their ricochet. Uh, no! <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just throw the splat bombs from the ground level. I'm making so many, like, weird decisions. Oh! Hang on. Oh, the geyser blocks it. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Like, sometimes he does that thing immediately and he pops his head out. Sometimes he doesn't. Let's, like, get something down. Okay, this is good. I can, like, keep this up. Huh. Oh, no, too late. <laughs> well, I, was, I was wondering how many times I could get him to be confused in a row there. Those sprinters have got wicked range to them, though. Jesus. I guess that's a benefit of putting a sprinter on a wall, rather than on the floor. Don't push me off the edge, please. Thank you. Okay, let's get rid of that sprinkler. It's bugging me. Also, I've now been noticed by the Octobomber up top, or whatever they're called. They are Octobombers, right? The ones that throw bombs. Makes sense, right? To be bombers. Oh, no, he's doing that again. Okay. <laughs> Let's destroy that guy. Oh, never mind. Ow. Ow. It hurts. 
I'm so mad. Yeah, this is much more tedious than the other one. <laughs> using curling bombs. Oh! Jesus. Accurate. Bomb accuracy. What the hell? It's, um, it's bomb believable. Oh! Wait, can I damage these? Nope, never mind. <laughs> I thought I heard, like, the damage click thing. Oh, I'm gonna die to the sprinkler! I can see it happening. Oh. Oof. Nope, 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 nope. What's the story? He's popped his heads out, but I'm too slow. Wait, oh, I touched... Did I touch the geyser? I didn't think I was anywhere near it. No. I'm just floundering, floundering around at this point. Ow! Bloody, bloody sprinkler, stop! Stop it! Go away, thank you. Oh, the tentacle retracted, I think, before it was too, too late. Oh! Get off the geyser. That was close. It's like ink the top of him. Oh god. Huh. Was not expecting that at all, to be honest. I thought he still had a few more hits in him. I wonder if the uh, splat bombs do a bit more damage than curling bombs. In this mode, anyway. Okay, so this phase should be made considerably easier. I can throw up. And I might do that immediately and get rid of some of the splash walls. Like that. Oh yeah, there they hit me. No, don't rotate, damn it. it rotates a bit too quickly for me to react to that. Okay, one splash wall down, and that means I'll probably deal with the Doctor Sniper up there as well. Again? Somehow I missed. How, how did that miss, exactly? I got one of them. I saw the power eggs just flooding into me there. It's weird, they still show up as power eggs in this mode, in Octo Expansion. But I mean, they're CQ points, right? Oh, please get up. Whatever. I don't need to get up. How was I too short there? Okay, do your thing. Pew! It's very useful, that little... The little explosion of your colour ink when you get hit. Gives you a bit of manoeuvrability after getting hit. As well as... You know. Oh, this... Because the splash walls are there, I can actually hit the sprinklers easier. Well, never mind. <laughs> or I can just miss completely. Okay, another bit of damage to that splash wall. Just hopping around in ink. So I can't move. I guess that shows how easy this boss is. I mean, it is, the, it is technically the first boss in story mode. In a hero mode, so it's bound to be a little bit easy, but... The fact that you don't need to, like, manoeuvre, you don't need your own ink to manoeuvre in at all. You can just jump around. Here's another splash wall down. But yeah, you can just jump around and avoid all those attacks. Or you can just stand there and take it. I'm not a pansy. Oh. <laughs> he says, as the sniper reticle aims right at him. Oh, those guys are right in the way there. What the hell? He hasn't inked this part of the arena at all. That was weird. Like one part of the arena that was untouched by zinc. I just dodge the attacks like that. And stop the plan. I'm on the completely wrong side. Wait. Another splash wall down. Do I get a few power eggs for destroying splash walls? In that case I might just and destroy all the splash walls. Like that. 
gives me more options of which side to climb up. Hello. Oh, there's no vent on that side. Um, I just killed not sniper. Nice bomb, I think. Okay, there shouldn't be too many snipers left. Come on, boy. Come on. So I actually haven't played Splatoon 2 an awful lot recently. Um, I've had some major like Joy-Con problems that meant that uh, I couldn't. Like my uh, control stick kept locking in one direction, and it was usually in the rightmost direction for some bizarre reason. Don't know why. But yeah, um, if if you haven't seen me online at all, I'm sure there are several people out there who might have seen my name pop up a few times online. I do play quite frequently. But, yeah, if you haven't seen me recently, it's because I've just had some Joy-Con issues with the uh, uh, C-Stick. And uh, I've, got a, I've got a new pair. And they're the Splatoon 2 themed ones, by the way. They're the uh, neon green, neon pink coloured ones, in case you're curious. They are, uh, considering I've had like the basic grey Joy-Cons since the console launched last year, I didn't realise quite how neon the neon controllers were. They, they practically glow in the dark. I, don't, I just wasn't expecting it at all. I, I got them and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're like really bright, bright and colourful controllers. As they should be. It, it's got neon in the title for a reason. But anyway, if you're wondering uh, why I haven't really played this a lot, that might be why I'm quite rusty <laughs> playing the bosses. Simply because I just haven't been able to touch the game for a while. Okay, and I think we're about done. Oh, if I can just... can I climb up top, maybe? How did I not latch on there? Uh, I'm, I'm seeing if I can climb a bit higher. Oh, what, what are you doing? Why are you putting that out over there? Jeez. N normally he aims it right at me, but not that time. Are you going to attack or not? <laughs> it's going to stare me down. Completely the wrong side again. I'm doing a little bit of damage. No, too slow. What side do I need to be on? I need to be on completely the opposite side, so... Let me try and get behind him, if possible. Okay, this is the side I want to climb up. Just over... Well, never mind. Because uh, on this side, there is no vent in the way. So I'm just toss them up there. And only get one bomb, apparently. Let's do it again. Pew! The sooner you damage yourself there, the sooner you get your arm back, so... Do it. There we go. Alright, there we go. Boss done with both curling bombs and splat bombs. I'm not going to do it with burst bombs, because, as you can imagine, you can just... Th because they explode on impact, it just makes things so much so much easier. I, d I just don't think it's worth my time to show it off. However, I'm not going to end the episode just yet, because I do want to do some, like... I don't know what to call them, like... I want to test out whether it is actually possible for me to do do the other two challenges I was talking about, because we're locked into specials in the other two boss fights, so I can't exactly do bombs only. But with, like, Octoshower, can I do it without using one of the inkjet shots? That's, like, the challenge I wanted to set for myself. Was, is it possible to defeat this guy without even firing a shot? Can I just hover above him and destroy him that way? Oh, I love this intro, because you don't get a launch pad. You have to gently hover down. Wee. It's also kind of unusual because I think the ink jet and the baller, uh, the baller is what we use in the Octa Samurai fight in this this mode. But I think they're the only two special weapons that weren't in hero mode. So I, I think it's like a neat little coincidence that they're here for the bosses in Octa Expansion. 
But they weren't there originally in hero mode. Okay, let's not even fire a shot. Can I get... I'm not even... I don't think I'm high enough to fight him. Can I hit this? I can get up higher. This is probably the highest point of the map. So then... Avoid these guys. I cannot seem to get close to him. Ow, ow, ow! My arm is broken already. I'm just going to tuck away behind here for a sec. It's quite a nifty take on the boss fight, I must be honest. I, I enjoyed this boss quite thoroughly. Uh, playing it for the first time. The inkjet. It's like it was designed that way. The long range weapons. Oh, okay, it's... was that a coincidence, or...? No, he seems to be actively trying to avoid me getting close to him. Oh, well, that, that sucked. Uh, but yeah, he seems to, like, be, like, constantly swaying away from me when I try and approach him. So I'm gonna give this a... if it is possible, which I, I don't think I can even get high enough to hit the guys with the exhaust, the inkjet, to be honest. Yeah, he's... Every time I get close to him, he moves away. Yep, okay. Not possible. And if it is possible, not worth the time at all. Uh, let me uh, go back to the train. And I'm going to go ahead and say that this is possible, but probably would take a very long time to do. Octo Samurai just with hitting him with the baller rather than actually making the baller explode just by running into him. And once again, we don't get a launch pad, we just get these uh, jet things, whatever they're called. We just get the, like, uh, jump pads, whatever they're called. Let's get that. Okay, avoid his attacks. And bop! <laughs> that, this is the most stupid thing. We do a little spin. Jumps across the arena. My god, this would take so bloody long. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, you know, I'm just going to do his first phase. You can jump over this, by the way. Jumps away. <laughs> uh, silly, but it, it's working, but it's silly, and I don't think it's worth my time at all. Uh, and he's away again. I'm just avoiding all his attacks. This and a spin. You can like knock him backwards slightly by doing that. This is just ridiculous. Although I'm, I'm managed to do it quite quickly. Maybe it won't take as long as I thought. Maybe like stun him like that. His attacks are surprisingly easy to dodge up close, except for maybe the spin. Oh my god, I've knocked him down already. Now for the tentacle. Why is that doing so much? That was faster than actually exploding. Because I think when you use the baller explosion, it takes like maybe two or three explosions to take his tentacle down. What? Wow, that did. I wasn't expecting to do that so quickly, to be honest. Maybe I can actually do this boss fight in the. It's got like his little. He's trying to run me down, but. You left yourself vulnerable, mate. Can I like. It's got these vertical flicks, but it makes no difference. Oh, well, I nearly got launched off there, but... Back. Oh, wait. Yeah, I mean, if you're stuck on the other side of the arena, it doesn't really make too much difference if he does hit you. Because we're completely invincible inside the baller. He just uh, does a lot of knockback. <laughs> Let me finish my sentence, please. And let's move this side this time. Huh. Eee! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! That does actually quite a bit of knockback. The spin as well. Okay, so maybe not as easy as I thought it would be. However, it's, uh, it's just silly. Okay, move around. Not especially uh, fast moving in the baller. Like changing direction. Whee! Like you struggle to like change direction quickly. What's it doing? Why is it jumping so far? 
So you have to like commit to a direction ahead of time. <gasps> Why did I go that way? <laughs> I was trying to like stop myself from falling off the edge by standing in front of the fence. Let's move over there quickly. Give me a bit of time. Oh, can I like? I thought I was like stuck underneath in there. I could do like multiple hits very quickly. But I don't think that actually happened. Hmm. Okay, and I'm off again. I was so close as well to like getting his tentacle out. That sounded really rude. Sorry about that. <laughs> Get your tentacle out! I mean, he cast that a bit fine, doesn't he? I thought I got stuck inside him there for a second. No! Okay. So yeah, quite difficult. I'm not... Okay, let me know in the comments if you want me to do this boss by tapping him to death with the baller. Because by looking at it, it is possible, but a bit of a challenge. And also it wouldn't be counted as like a bombs or anything. It would be counted as completely its own separate episode. Also, let me know if there are any other uh, Octo Expansion levels you want me to try out using bombs only. Not just bosses. Uh, I don't really want to filter through all of the levels individually, see which ones have bombs in or not. So if there's any like specific challenges you want me to do, uh, let me know. And I will dedicate another episode to it. Wow, I went completely over the fence there. Okay, yeah, I'm going back to the train. And, uh... If I do get enough requests for it, I will try to do that super secret boss. You, you know the one. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think it's possible with bombs only, the uh, final, final boss. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to at least try. And I'll give it a, I'll give it a good go, but yeah, I don't... I'm going to give it a resounding, like, 99% sure that it's not possible. So, yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, just, uh. Back to the um, other Octo expansion levels. Let me know which ones you might be interested in seeing with bombs only. I can imagine some of the Octoling levels being quite interesting to do bombs only, like the ones where you emulate Tower Control and Rainmaker and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe I'll give them a shot if I get enough requests for that. But yeah, let me know if there's any like specific levels. It's kind of weird, there's some... like, the levels on rails? That gives you... where, well, which one is it? This one that was... was it this one? Righteous Rails? I think this was a really annoying one to me, I'm trying to do it with the bamboozler. But yeah, I think you get get given bombs in this level, despite the fact that there's no... Yeah, you get splat bombs, but there's no solid ground at all. You're, like, constantly on rails, so what is... What is the point? It just doesn't work. Why do they even give you bombs? Unless... Hang on. I don't think this can be done bombs only, I'm just giving it a little little test, but can I like Nope. What why? I thought maybe I could like throw them into the spinning things. To like damage the bombs? Now why do they even give you bombs in this challenge? I'm so confused about that. You can't use them at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me know which levels you want me to try out with bombs only, aside from these levels, obviously, because this is obviously not going to be possible with bombs only. But yeah, let me know, and I'll give them, I'll give them a try, maybe like a some separate video, and then that'll be the end of the bombs only stuff, because there's not really an awful lot else to do. I could still probably do like the penalty games. I think I mentioned in the hero mode side of things. I said I was going to uh, maybe try doing a couple of. Uh, turf War games with bombs only. Like, I'd probably use burst bombs for that. Just to be a bit cheap, but... Yeah, I don't really want to go into ranked bombs only. And spoil everyone else's game. Ranked or, like, Salmon Run. I'd rather... I <sighs> Salmon Run with bombs only? Oh god, I suck. Oh, I suck. I can't hit any targets. 
But yeah, let me get out of here because I clearly suck at this challenge. But yeah, I'm not going to do um, bombs only in ranked or league or uh, uh, yeah, summon run because that would affect everyone else's experience. Like if I'm on a team and messing around, like I feel comfortable doing it in turf four because there's not there's no like risk reward for turf four. You just you know you might lose a bit of weapon what's it called weapon freshness or whatever it is, but yeah, if I'm on your team and messing around with bombs in Turf 4, that's fine by me. But ranked, you stand to lose quite a lot in ranked. Like if someone's bar's cracked all the way, and then they get me on their team, and we lose the match because I've been pissing around with bombs, I would feel like super, super guilty about that. So yeah, I'm not going into ranked with, with bombs only. Same with Salmon Run, I'm not going to make someone lose their professional level just because I throw bombs around and waste everyone else's time. So yeah, I'm not going to do any of those bombs only, maybe a bit of turf war for the penalty games that I mentioned in hero mode. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, let me know if you want to see me do any other ultra expansion levels, some specific levels. How many times have I mentioned that now? Like, I cannot end a video to save my life. Yeah, let me know what you want to see in the next episode, and I will see you then. Bye for now. Yeah, just let me know. Let, let me know. Let me know. It's just going to lose all meaning if I keep saying it. <laughs>